Hi folks, it's Wendy. Thank you for joining me today. I have this, now, I have this painting that I did deliberately in order to help me figure out how to make bubbles. So I did, um, it's just like a, a pour uh, with some green on the edges and the blues in the middle to make it kind of look like a river. And then I've got these templates um, for circles. And I've been watching some videos on how to do this. And I'm gonna pull it up. So it's by Mill Me Paintings. So it's by Me Paintings. Uh, I found it on YouTube and she does a really good job of showing how to make uh, 3D looking bubbles in water. I'm, I really like the way this looks just the way it is though. So I'm gonna have a hard time with this, but I, I, I said that I was making this just so I could practice making bubbles. So I'm going to do it. Now I will link her video in the, the comments here. But what I'm gonna do with you is I'm gonna make one bubble and see how well it comes out. And then I'm gonna do bubbles in just the water piece, um, the way that she has it. So, mm, wish me luck here. So I think I've got everything I need. I've got the stencil. I've got a white acrylic paint marker to outline the bubble. I've got some Payne's Gray to use for the shading in the top. I've got some white to use for the shading in the bottom. I've got some black to use for the shading under the bubble. And I'll go back and use the white to make the highlights. So wish me luck. Let's start with a big one so that I'm, I know what I'm I'd, so I can really see what it is that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do one like right here. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one, this nice big one right here. Nice circle there. So far so good. Now, the next thing to do, and I'm gonna need some water, is to use a little bit of Payne's Gray. I have this little corner from one of my paint, my uh, canvases. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this here. And I'm using that kind of paintbrush. Get it wet. Take a little bit of this. Go around the top of it. And I know it looks really dark, but I'm gonna blend it here in a minute. Okay. okay, so now you can see I've got some shading at the top. Blended nicely. Now I need to do the same for white on the bottom. Okay, so now I've got some white that I'm gonna do around here. Okay, so now I have the shading on the bottom. Okay, okay. Okay, so now for the reflection on the top. Okay, now, tell me, does that look like a bubble? I think it does. I think it's kinda cute. All right, so now I want a black pouring paint and do the bottom. And I'm 
I'm going to do that with my pouring paint and a very, very small brush. And get it wet. To use the pouring paint, the thin down pouring paint. Okay. There you go. What do you think? All right. I'm going to finish off doing the rest of the bubbles, or I'm just going to do like a line of, of bubbles. I'm not going to do a whole bunch, but I'm going to do a line of bubbles across. Wish me luck. And then I'll show you when I'm done. You don't want to watch me do it. That's boring. Okay. That took a while, but I think I did it. Now I'm probably gonna have to have some, look at my hands. I'm probably gonna have to practice some more. And some of the problems I had were this acrylic pen likes to splurt, if that's a word. Um, so I would be going around and then it would, it would like spray. Um, but let me bring it up and show you the bubbles. I think it came out great. I'm really happy with it. More practice, definitely more practice. So thank you very much, Me Paintings. That's a fantastic tutorial. Again, I will put it in the comments so you can go out and see how to do it as well. Um, I just need more practice. Uh, but this is, this is fun. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.